Welcome to pre-math. We got this uh, quadrilateral uh, A, B, C, D. As you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, these interior angles uh, B, A, D is uh, 80 degrees. Likewise, uh, this angle uh, A, B, C is uh, 80 degrees as well. And finally, this angle uh, B, C, D is being represented by X. And moreover, uh, this side length uh, a, B is uh, 8 units. The side length uh, B, C is uh, 8 units as well. And finally, this side uh, C, D length uh, is 8 units uh, as well. And now our task is uh, to find the value of this uh, angle uh, X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and let's focus once again on this quadrilateral A, B, C, D. And we can see our only two known interior angles are 80 degrees and this angle is 80 degrees as well. So therefore we are going to draw some auxiliary lines to make our job simple. So therefore I have drawn uh, this segment uh, A, A such that uh, this side uh, A, B length uh, equal to this uh, segment uh, AE length and now we are going to focus uh, on this triangle uh, ABE and we can see this is an isosceles triangle since uh, this side length uh, equal to this side length so therefore we conclude uh, that this angle has got to be congruent to this angle if this angle is 80 degrees uh, then this angle has got to be 80 degrees as well and now we know that the sum of interior angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So therefore we conclude that this angle has got to be a 20 degree angle such that uh, the sum of these three interior angles is indeed equal to 180 degrees. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole angle is 80 degrees and this uh, tiny angle is uh, 20 degrees so therefore uh, this remaining angle has got to be a 60 degree angle and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, 60 degrees is going to give us a clue so therefore we have drawn uh, this uh, equilateral uh, triangle uh, AEF and since uh, this triangle AEF is an equilateral so therefore uh, this side length uh, must be equal to this side length uh, and this must be equal to this side length. So therefore all these uh, three interior angles are going to be 60 degrees uh, each uh, as well. And now in this uh, next step I am going to connect these two points uh, D and uh, E. And now we can see that this uh, D E segment is uh, parallel to this side uh, AB and furthermore uh, this uh, CD length uh, is equal to this uh, segment uh, EF length. So therefore we conclude that these two angles uh, this angle X uh, and this angle which is 60 degrees uh, are going to be congruent angles. So therefore we conclude that our angle X uh, has got to be a 60 degree angle. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations our angle X turns out to be 60 degrees. In other words our this angle X has got to be a 60 degrees angle and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.